Hi there Year 3, Mr Yates here with a bit of an app tutorial for you. It's an app that I've shown you before. We had a look at this in lockdown one. You might have had a chance to have a proper look at it. It's called Google Arts and Culture. It's absolutely free on uh, App Store for Android or iOS devices. You should be able to download it onto tablet or um, onto a, a smartphone and you can explore lots of the features. Now it's actually a really fun app to look at anyway. There's loads of really cool um, activities and games that you can do. This concert in your living room is particularly good. But I'm going to talk to you about how you can use it for take one picture this week, particularly with the artists that you have. So first things first, I'm going to press on that search icon up in the top corner and I'm going to search for Monet Water Lilies. Here we go. And you can see there's some online exhibits. There's an online exhibit here of uh, the water lily pond at the National Gallery, the painting you're studying. When you swipe down through here, it's really clever because it will show you, give you some interesting information about the uh, painting and it will zoom into particular areas and ask you to reflect on certain things like the bold line of the bridge here. It goes into real detail in some of it. So when you search Monet water lilies in this app, one of the first things you can see is the online exhibit here. The thing that I really like though isn't that, if I move down, and I find that picture that we've been looking at here. Again, it tells me where it is at the moment, the National Gallery. I press view in your augmented reality and it will launch the art project. So you might remember this from last time. I move around to find the dots on the floor and when I'm happy, I can drag my painting into the space. I'm gonna pop mine there. And it shows me the picture in real size. So this is the size it would be if I went to see it in the gallery, if, I was, if the National was open at the moment. But because it's not, I'm gonna have a gallery in this room here. Now, what's great about a gallery is you can view a picture from any sort of space. I can look at it from a different angle, see how the light affects it. And what's really cool with this is the closer I get, it's as if I'm in real life, I get to see so much rich detail, every brush stroke on the canvas. And I can look in depth at this painting, which I think is really spectacular. Now, what's very cool as well is that there's a button down here, a circle button at the bottom that allows me to tap the... Um, the button to take a photograph of it in my new space in my house or if I want to I can hold that down and I can make a video which records my voice so I could walk in holding the button down and record a video talking about for example those bold white lines on the bridge and the effect they have I might talk about my favorite part of the painting or some of the colors that have been used in this picture I think that could be a really useful thing to get a little bit more depth and to visit uh, the painting in a gallery space in your own living room. Give that a go and see if it's something that you enjoy doing at home too. All the best.